<laughs> ah! Oh my goodness! Hello! I've been gone for so long. It's really good to see you after this long time that I've been away. So if you're seeing this video and you're tuning in and you're still here, what's up? Super happy to see you again after so long. Why did I stop making YouTube videos? To be honest with you, it wasn't a planned decision. Like, I'm not gonna make any more YouTube videos. I just made that last vlog and I just couldn't really bring myself to post another one. Vlogging my life hasn't really been what I've been wanting to do for a while now and I guess it was just finally time. Another update is, am I dating anyone? I am still not dating anyone <laughs> and honestly I don't have any desire to date anyone. I Even when I met my ex-husband I wasn't looking to meet anyone. I was really firm on what I wanted to be doing. Now I'm just really focused on other things besides meeting somebody. Happy being with myself. At the same time, I'm not close to meeting someone. Like if I met someone, they're really interested in me. Who knows, but it's just not something I care about. And being alone is feeling really good. I have my space. Yeah, I'm just happy being with myself. So now we're gonna get into some general updates of my life that may be interesting to some of you guys. And firstly, something I've been needing and craving for myself for so long is my own place to live where I just feel completely free to do me and to focus on the things that I wanna focus on. I thought I could kind of live the lifestyle that I wanted to live, living with my parents up in that attic, but it just didn't work out. And so since then I've been living with roommates and well, I was living with roommates and I just did not have the space and then I could just feel them in there. I could feel the vibes <laughs> and it just wasn't working out. So I was like, Ugh, I need my own space. And I'm super happy to report that I have had my own space since May. Another thing, because this has been such a food channel, I started off being vegan on here, and then I went to being vegetarian, and then later I ate meat for a short while, and then I went back to vegetarian, and I am still a vegetarian. So when I started eating meat, I was having health issues, and that was a big factor. But there's also another factor that I didn't even want to admit to myself, let alone admit to anyone else. Like I kept it very buried. Yeah, there was a, an influence of YouTube. Unless you're eating like fake meats and just stuff I really didn't want to eat, like other stuff, junky food stuff. Eating meat could open up a lot of new content while also um, being more healthy for my body. Um, so yeah. YouTube influenced that decision. And our final section of this video is what is to come on this channel? What's gonna happen moving forward? I would really like to do more sit down videos. Yeah, sit down videos. I feel like this style of video will really uh, be good for my vision and desire of having a separate work-life balance with my private life off of YouTube and my content creation life of doing YouTube. I think if I shared my interests on YouTube, it could be a really cool thing. Hopefully be enjoyable for my audience who's interested in similar things that I'm interested in and hopefully be interesting for me to create the content and facilitate this whole vision of putting out positive things into the world that may be beneficial for people, enjoying my work, the process of creating and having my separate life where I can be private, then you may like the direction that this channel is headed. So hopefully that's the case. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.